Hey, I'm Chef Aaron Fish, and this is Fish Food, where we make tasty, approachable snacks. And today, we're making the pork trifecta sandwich with flavor hog bacon jam. All right, so step one is actually gonna be two steps. We're gonna be making our bacon jam, and we're gonna be kind of making some beer pickled mustard seeds. So, uh, this is where we work on the stove. We're gonna do them both at the same time. Let's get it done. So we're gonna start with our bacon. in my made-in pot. And I'm just gonna throw this in here. We wanna get this rendered out and get it kinda nice and crispy. And while that's working, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna pour some beer and some assorted mustard seeds from Spiceology into this pot. We're gonna kick it on. And then basically we're gonna make a sped up uh, beer mustard, um, you know, a lot of times you want to soak it overnight in the beer, add some other stuff to it, let it sit for a while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the heat to pop the mustard seeds and have them you know, infuse with the beer, uh, become edible, and I'm just going to put a little bit of vinegar in here too. All right, so the bacon has been rendering for about five minutes uh, over medium heat. You can see uh, it's starting to get crispy. Um, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go over here, we're going to strain it out. Okay. We're gonna return this pan to the flame, add the bacon fat back in it, and I'm gonna add my onions. I've got about half a chopped onion here. It's a little bit uh, less than a cup, so maybe like three quarters of a cup. Okay. We're gonna cook this down for about uh, three or four minutes until the onions start to look translucent. All right, our onions are getting translucent. I'm cooking in this bacon fat. And we're gonna go ahead and add some chopped ginger and some chopped garlic. I'm gonna let this cook just for about a minute, stirring frequently and just get fragrant um, and start the process of unlocking those oils and flavors. All right, our garlic and our ginger is fragrant. We're gonna go ahead and add our bacon back in. Add some brown sugar and apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna turn this on high, and I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer. Our mustard is uh, starting to get nice and bulbous, and uh, you can see when I pull on it, like in the pan, you can start to see the bottom of the pan. So now, now we're gonna go ahead and add a little salt, and I'm gonna add a bunch of honey to it. So we wanna kinda of sweeten it up. Now we put a little vinegar in at the beginning because we wanted uh, the mustard seeds to kind of soak up that vinegar um, with the beer as the beer reduces. Um, we're gonna be adding some more vinegar here in a minute to kind of create more of like a, a exterior texture on it. All right, so our bacon jam uh, is starting to get, you can see nap hay, um, where the sauce is just thick enough that we're able to smear it. Uh, you typically it's you know tested out on the back of the plate, but we're doing the bottom of the pot here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my flavor hog in, and we're gonna put about a quarter cup in to start. And now, so this, this is you know this is sweet and spicy. You want to make sure to just add enough to um, you know how spicy you want it. I like a lot of spice, so for me, you know it's important to add a little extra. All right. Now, this is gonna be, as it cools down, it's gonna tighten up a little bit too and get a little thicker. So it's okay if it's this loose and it seems kind of like maybe it's not jammy enough. Um, but hot sugar is typically really wet and loose. And it's gonna look like really thin, but it's not. All right, so our mustard seeds are done. Uh, you can see they're a little bit loose, but that's that's good because we're, you know, the longer it sits, it's gonna absorb more. And we're just gonna be ladling these over the sandwich. So it's gonna be really tasty. All right, so I've got my, um, sandwich bun toasting here and some butter. Um, I like to use a cast iron. I think it gets a nice toast on it. You can see it's already starting. You want to spin it because the heat's in the middle. Um, if you have an electric grill or something, you can totally use that. I've got a, another um, nonstick pan going over here. I'm going to heat up my pork. So this is some pulled pork I made. Uh, you can buy this. Um, you can buy pulled pork at the grocery store. Um, usually in the meat department, they have something if you um, just want like a quick fix or, uh, you know, we have awesome recipes, I'm sure, on spiceology.com where you can make some great pulled pork. Or even reach out to your local barbecuer. 
All right, so our pork is frying up nice. We wanna make sure, we wanna try to get it nice and crispy. So I'm just kinda keep flipping it. I'm trying to keep it almost in like a little patty too because I'm gonna throw some pepper jack on this in a minute and get it melty. Um, but we want that textural element to the sandwich where you've got kind of uh, the crispy pork, we're gonna have some shaved ham on there. Um, and then we're also going to have the bacon jam. So each, each type of meat's gonna taste and, and uh, feel, like have different mouth feel. All right, cool. So I've got some apple salad I made here. It's got fresh lime juice, uh, shaved onions, and some herbs in here. A little bit of um, sugar and some crushed chili flakes. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this into <laughs> my cocktail shaker. And I'm gonna use my muddle and we're just gonna make a smashed apple salad. All right, so all smashed up, you can see. Still has some texture to there, but it's got, you know, like a lot of little chunks. It's gonna be really good on the sandwich. All right, so we got our cheese all melty on our crispy pork, and we're gonna put our sandwich together. So I've got a butter toasted Hawaiian bun here. I'm gonna be using some ginger lime mayo that I made. Uh, real simple, just some zested li uh, limes in here and some grated ginger um, with some mayonnaise. Put a little bit on both sides. Put some arugula down. And then next, we'll put our ham down. Okay, just some spiral ham that I got. You can use deli ham, it doesn't really matter. Whatever uh, floats your boat. The idea is that we're just kind of doing three different kinds of uh, pork on here. Alrighty, so we're gonna throw our pork on here, get our bacon jam, hope you're not on a diet, and our mustard seeds, strain some of the liquid out, I'm just going to go right over the top. And then to finish it off, we're going to go ahead and put some of the crushed apples on the top. Alrighty, so let's uh, dip into this flavor hog. You look at this, it's like, look at all this meat and deliciousness in here and apples. Okay. As usual, delicious. We've got, I mean, we've got your acid and, you know, your sweet from the bacon jam the sour from that mustard seed. That freshness and crisp from that uh, smashed apple salad. All of that pork in there, I mean, each one has kind of a different flavor and textural element to it. This is a really delicious sandwich. And that is great fish for me.